Okay, so we've got a special guest with us here today on Hack.5, and that's Lehman Lee, a professional DJ from ETN.FM online radio. Hey, Lehman, how you doing, buddy? How you been? Good, good, good. It's a pleasure to have you here. It's a pleasure to come down. And so uh, what we're here to find out from you is how the DJ spins in the digital age. Mm -hmm. And so I guess we'd like to have a little background from you right now as right. to how'd you get into DJ? Well, well, what I really started off with uh, was just a computer, and I downloaded software called Virtual Turntable. I'm not sure anybody heard of that before, but what it was was two MP3 players, and it gave us a little pitch control, and that's all I did. Oh, I didn't have anything. I didn't. Have, I cannot cue my thing. I, I cannot cue my vinyl. I can. I, well, I cannot cue anything at all. I just play two records. Well, two, uh, two MP3s. Like play one and then play the next. Exactly. Everything is everything is a train wreck. It was horrendous. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. That's that's bad. And sent you have since then evolved from that particular state. That's correct. And uh, so we've got some equipment in front of us right now. And what do we got? What, what, you're looking, this? what you're looking at is two turntables. And a microphone. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and a DJ mixer and a headphone. And uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. good stuff. So, so what's, what's, what's the special sauce? I mean, we're talking about DJ in the digital age. So right. obviously something's got to be digital. Mm -hmm. What is it? It's this vinyl right here you're looking at. That's the, that's the digital part. Then what you're looking at is the time-coded digital vinyl. And this side is 10 minutes and this side is 15 minutes long. Okay, so you're telling me that this analog vinyl has been encoded digitally yeah. and been time stamped. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I mean, and that's working in what kind of package? Like, what is the entire package that the goes The package on is, um, goes something like this. Well, the, the whole package contains this scratch hand, this software right here, and uh, two vinyls and. Uh, a CD, a CD player, a CD, um, CD, CD, the CD right here. CD right there. There you go. This CD it. right here. Let's take a look at that. And there this CD go. is encoded, uh, digital and time stamped. Yep. Just That's like it. the vinyl. Yep. Mhm. Mm okay. And what what's this called here? This is called uh, Serato Scratch Live. This is made by Rain, American DJ company. They uh, they did a lot of DJ mixers mm -hmm. back in uh, late '90s, but they the first program software hardware they they did was this. And it works terrific. I okay, how does it work? Like, how how does this all interface together and let you spin how you want to spin? Well, like, well these time code of vinyl right here mm -hmm. allows you to manipulate vinyl with your computer. And it's what it, what's going on is that when you play these vinyls, it's like a dial tone or something like that. And the, the signal is sent through right here, the scratch amp, mm -hmm. and the uh, they're using USB to connect to the software, and everything's real time Every, when. Anything you can do with a vinyl, mm -hmm. anything you can do with a vinyl, you can do with this uh, time code of vinyl here. Okay, so. and, and system requirements for that are? Uh, 512 uh, megabytes of RAM, minimal requirements, 1.5 gigahertz minimal okay. requirements. So the, the, the standard machine. The more the better. Yeah, well, obviously, the more the better in <laughs> uh -huh. anything like this, especially yeah. when you're dealing with real time audio encoding yep. or sampling, yep. may it, you know, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. but as far as today's standards, we're talking about minimum system requirements, 512, 1.5 gigahertz. That's, that's not a lot when we're looking at P4s at 3 gigahertz. <laughs> yeah, I know. So, uh, so, you know, it, it, so what you're saying is it takes the uh, MP3 and you would load it in your deck mm -hmm. in the software here, yep. and then you have complete manipulation over it on the vinyl here yep. on the turntable. Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can scratch, you can jog. You can b-juggle, you can do a turntable list, you can do all kinds of stuff, you know, that, that crazy is tricks. Awesome. Yes. Now, uh, what kind of bit rate are we looking at here, like for your MP3s? I'd imagine the higher, the better. The higher, the better. The higher, the better. 300, uh, 320, 44, mm -hmm. 44 kilohertz uh, for MP3 wise. Wave, it will play anything. AUG, Wave, uh, AIFF, AIFF, I think. Okay, so like what, whatever you can, whatever, whatever you can, audio format whatever you can throw format at it. Is it, it, will, it will play anything. Nice, so, yeah. I'm going to start remixing my podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it does. It does. I, I think it does connect with your um, iTunes library or something like that. Are you that. kidding me? I'm not kidding. It wow. Does. Wow. That is a very, very powerful piece of software mm -hmm. and a hardware combo. Yep. Now, did you have, like, as far as, like, sound quality, digital versus analog, what are we looking at here? I mean, well, let me give you the honest truth. Uh, I still think vinyl, like, real vinyl, mm -hmm. sounds better than digital because what you get is a lot of, a lot of bass, a lot of beats. And a lot of highs in as well. The only problem is these are very fragile. When mm -hmm. you you break them, that's it. It's done. It's done deal. When you break one of these, you can just go store and buy another one. All your all your MP3s are located in this hard drive. You don't have to worry about buying another vinyl. It's like costs like ten twenty dollars for imports and 
maybe uh, five, seven, five to seven dollars for domestic. You don't have to spend all that money. Oh, yeah, just, and that doesn't sound like a lot right now when you're talking about one vinyl, but when you have to walk around with three or four milk crates with 30 vinyl a piece, so you yeah, can spend a good set. You can definitely spend a good set with a vinyl, but this is ve definitely versatile than versus 30. Like, well, yeah, when you get, a you get a 30 gig hard drive, yeah. that's like 10,000 MP3s versus, yep. you know, having to have 30 vinyl, which are only like one or two tracks a piece, A, yeah. a side, B side. Yeah. So yeah, you definitely have a uh, much better sampling there. Right. Now, if anybody wants to find any more information about you or where you DJ or how you DJ, where can they go? They can go to uh, www.dj-leamingly.net and I spend on etn.fm every Thursday night. Uh, don't know the schedule yet because uh, you know this is well, this is gonna come out August fifth, right? So <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But <laughs> but they can check out your website. They can yeah. check out etn.fm and see when you're gonna play next right. and everything. The schedule's else. on there, so it might change a little bit. Okay, but, you know. but as of right now, you spend on Thursday nights. Right. Okay. Thank you so much again. It's been a pleasure. Mm -hmm. And so let's go ahead and uh, hit up Allie for this month's poll. Allie, what's the poll?